What's up YouTube, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at Axel. He is currently the item shop. He is a rare outfit. He is part of the Axolato attack set. He does come with two selectable styles. He does come with the back being neon backboard that has four selectable styles. So without further ado guys, let's get this review started. So, Axel. Axel is actually a very cool skin. He kind of creeps me out at sometimes with his selectable style, but other than that, he is a very cool skin. He is based off of the axolotl fish that is in the ocean, which is a very cool fish. Also, for those of you that actually play Pokemon, he is actually based off the same animal that Mudkip is based off of. The only thing I don't get about this skin is why does he have a basketball jersey? That's the only thing that boggles me, but then again, it is Fortnite and... We've seen random stuff, so this isn't that far fetch. Does he match his rarity? Like I mentioned previously, the skin and back thing have two selectable styles, which is very cool. It does have a default and then the Axel Midnight, which is kind of looks like Toothless from How to Train the Dragon. And then he also has a style where he could have a tail or no tail. If I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys, I do think the default style is better than the Midnight version, just cause the Midnight is just too naked for me. He looks kind of weird. So what's my final rating on Axel? I'm gonna have to give Axel an 8 out of 10. The reason why I'm giving it such a high rating is cause not just the skin has a lot of selectable styles, but also the backlink. The backlink has 4 selectable styles, and 2 of those are for the regular version, and then the other 2 are for the midnight version, which I actually think is a very good thing. So without further ado guys, let's get this combo started. For the first combination with Axel, I am using the default Edistamp and I'm pairing it up with the Starcrest Flux with the Galaxy Red Edistamp. Now you could either use the Starcrest Flux or the other variant you did obtain for free. The reason why I'm using the Galaxy Red color scheme is because it does match the color scheme of his skin and then the things he does have on his head. And for the harvesting tool, I'm going to be going with the Splinter Light. The reason behind this harvesting tool is because it does have a similar color scheme to the skin and backlink. And for the glider, I'm going to be going with the Cell Shark. Now, the Cell Shark does have a red color scheme that matches very good with his jersey. He is an aquatic creature, so having a shark as a glider just makes sense. For the Contra, we're going to be going with the Waterfall. Again, he is from the ocean, so having the Waterfall as a Contra just makes perfect sense to me. And for the Rap, I'm going to be going with the Beacon Trance. The Beacon Trance actually <laughs> looks very good with the combinations of colors he does have on his flesh. It actually is almost identical and looks very cool. So let's check out this combo. For the next combination with Axel with the default edit style, I'm actually using the no tail edit style and I'm pairing it up with the retribution backlink with the default edit style as well. As you can tell the backlink itself sits very good on his back. The combinations of curves as well match perfectly with the skin. And for the harvesting tool, I'm going to be going with the Perax. Now the Perax with the default edit style does have the blades that are blue that are similar to the backlink and skin. Then the handle itself is completely all red that matches the skin as well. And for the glider, we're going to be going with the downpour. The downpour glider is a very cool glider and it matches very well because he is an aquatic creature. The combinations of colors also match very good with the backlink and that's another reason why I'm using it. For the control of choice, we're going to be going with the Swirls. The Swirls control does have a purple and light blue color scheme that just matches very good with the combinations of colors he does have on his head. And for the wrap, we're going to be going with the Burning Bright. The Burning Bright wrap is basically what the name refers, it's a bright wrap. It looks very cool because it does have that red animation that is similar to the skin he does have. So let's check out this combo.
For the next combination with the Axel with the Midnight Edistealth, I'm pairing it up with the Puma Pack with the Ultra Eagle Edistealth. Now, if you look at the backlink and then the skin again, you do notice that they are almost identical with the curse skin. They look really good and they mesh really well. Then, for the harvesting tool, we're going to be going with the Harmonic Access with the Purple Edistealth. Now, do you notice the Harmonic Access merge very well with the backlink and the skin as well? And for the glider, we're going to be going with the Ion. The Ion glider is a very simple but yet effective glider. The green strip it does have in the center and on the wings themselves complement the strips that it does have on the backlink and the skin. Then, for the Contra, we're going to be going with the DNA. The DNA does have that very light, light blue curse skin that the skin and backlink do utilize. And for the wrap, we're going to be going with the Constellations. The Constellation wrap has a similar curse skin to the backlink and the skin. Overall, the combinations of curse just look amazing combined, and I think this is one of the better combinations for Axel. So let's check out this combo. For the last combination with Axel with the Midnight Edistealth, I'm pairing it up with the Shining Star. Now the Shining Star actually fits on his back very good. It is very compact, it is a light after all, so it matches very good with the curse game he does have on his body. And for the harvesting tool, we're going to be going with the Separated Slicers. The Separated Slicers have a similar curse game to that of his skin. And for the Glider, we're going to be going with the Glow Rider. The reason I'm going with the Glow Rider is because it does have that black curse scheme with the neon blue curse scheme that matches very good with the skin, the back thing, and the harvesting tools. Then for the control, we're going to be going with the Phantasm. The Phantasm control actually fits very well with the combinations of colors. The Phantasm actually has ectoplasma coming out of it that looks very cool. And skipping the whole ectoplasma feel to it, we're going to be going with the wrap, the Dead Wave. The Dead Wave wrap is an animated wrap that has similar colors to the skin and the back thing. It looks very cool and it actually covers the majority of the weapon so it gives it a nice touch. So let's check out this combo. For the first combination with the Neon Backboard, I am pairing it up with Triple Threat. The reason behind this combination is because it does have that whole basketball feeling that the backlink does bring to the table. And for the harvesting tool, we're going to be going with the Stripe Slicer. The Stripe Slicer is a very cool harvesting tool. It does have an all red color scheme that really complements the skin. It also has a white line across it that really goes well with the white she does have. And for the glider, we're going to be going with the wet paint. The reason behind the wet paint is because you do see graffiti whenever you do play basketball outside in the parks or anywhere around that area. And for the Contra, we're going to be going with the Spectral Essence. She's a human after all, so having the Spectral Essence just makes sense. And for the rap, we're going to be going with the Linear Streak. The Linear Streak is an animated rap. It does have exactly the same combinations of colors similar to the backlink. It also looks very good with the skin and that's another reason why I'm using it. So let's check out this combo. For the next combination with the Neon Backboard with the Dark Air style, I am pairing it up with Mystify. Now, Mystify looks very good with the combination of the Neon Backboard with the Dark Air style. As you can see, the rim does have that Neon Blue color skin that's similar to the skin. And then for the Harvesting tool, we're going to be going with the Wild Tangent. The Wild Tangent does have that Neon color scheme similar to the backlink and the skin. It looks very good when she's actually having it in the battlefield and overall a very solid pick. 
And for the glider, we're gonna be going with the Elite Recon with the Ultra Eagle Edit Sound. Now, the Elite Recon does have that same neon color scheme similar to the skin and back thing. It looks very good, the glider itself is very compact and it just looks perfect with this combination. For the Contra, I'm gonna be going with the Plasma Trail. The Plasma Trail is just what the name is first, it's just a trail of plasma that is blue on both hands and feet. And for the Rat, we're gonna be going with the Hex form. The Hex form does have a very solid combination that is similar to the glider, backlink, harvesting tool and skin. It looks very good, it does have an animation that glows up, so overall, a very solid pick. So let's check out this combo. For the next combination, we are going to be looking at the Neon Backboard with the Axo Jet Edit Style and we're going to be pairing it up with Rocks with the Purple Edit Style with the Stage 5 with the Green Lights. Now this actually looks amazing with her. This backing fits very well especially because it does have a similar color scheme to the Purple and the Green. Then for the Harvesting Tool, I'm going to be going with the Medax with the Purple Edit Style. Now having a Purple Edit Style for a Harvesting Tool just makes perfect sense with this combination. I tried different harvesting tools but the Medax actually looked the best and for the glider I'm going with the Dark Forerunner. The Dark Forerunner has a similar purple to that of the backlink in the skin. It is very compact and very cool with this combination. And keeping the all purple aesthetics we are going to be going with the lightning strike for the control. The lightning strike control looks very cool especially when you descend to the battlefield. And for the wrap we are going to be going with the sharp break. The sharp break does have a purple animation to it that looks very cool. It actually matches perfectly with this combination and overall a very good pick. So let's check out this combo. For the last combination with the Neon Backboard with the Axel Jet Edestyle with the red color scheme, I am pairing it up with the Singularity with the Stage 3 with the piece of color scheme. Now this combination actually looks very good. The costume the Singularity does have does have a futuristic feel to it that matches perfectly with the feel that the backlink does bring. And for the harvesting tool, we're going to be going with the Plasmatic Edge. The Plasmatic Edge does have that futuristic style that I am looking for with the skin and backlink. Then focusing on that green style, we're going to be going with the glider, the Pixel Pilot. The Pixel Pilot does have an 8-bit aura to it that looks very cool. It is similar to a futuristic glider that just complements the singularity very well. For the Contra, we're going to be going with the Sid Streak. The Sid Streak does have that green and orange color scheme that the skin does have. I like it, it does have that futuristic look to it and it fits very well with the glider as well. And for the wrap, we're going to be going with the Sionica. The Sionica wrap does have that green and white color scheme that looks very good with the skin. It also has an orange and if you look closely, that reddish color scheme she does have is a little bit of orange so it looks very good cut together. So let's check out this combo. Those are the 4 combinations I found so far for Axel, and then the 4 combinations I did find for the Neon Backboard. Let me know in the comments below which one's your favorite. And if you're new to my channel, subscribe, I post videos or fake cosmetic skins every single day. And if you want to support the channel, my code is ENIGMAKID, all caps, two D's, all together. Each time you guys use my code near the Iron Shop or the Epic Gaming Store, I do get a small percentage of it and really help this channel grow. Also, I am posting the community combo videos right after this video, so you still have time to submit any in my community post. 
and for all my social media and discord they'll be in the description and with that being said guys i'll catch you guys in the next video see ya